Namibia is making headlines globally for taking the bold step to develop green hydrogen villages across the country. And the young people are at the forefront of this initiative. A groundbreaking ceremony was held at the Brandberg mining site, about 90 kilometers outside of Uis, with partners like the German government who are funding this development. We are grateful uh, to be recipients of this process which has started between both the German and the Namibian governments, which has resulted in the availability of this grant funding, which can bring you know, a proof of concept or pilot uh, to life. The green hydrogen villages are intended to produce hydrogen and ammonia from renewable resources as well as agricultural produce and create research opportunities for local and international students. This solar energy that is so abundant here, we are going to harvest it using solar panels. When we harvest that energy, part of it pumps the water from the ground that water that is pumped will be stored. Part of it will be used to electrolyze the water, that is break the water into hydrogen and oxygen. When we now have the hydrogen, we can keep it, store it. This place should not be dark at night. There should be lights now coming from that hydrogen that we have generated during the day. We will be growing our vegetables, watered by the or by the water that we have pumped and stored in high level, and that will water our vegetables. The Green Hydrogen Commissioner is confident about this project, which is expected to see the development of massive infrastructure, including solar panels, wind turbines, greenhouses, water reservoirs, and houses on these barren lands of the Dorab National Park. For a community that according to the chief had very little to celebrate in these lands, this is a lot of infrastructure that will be put up. And it's not being done in 2030, it's not being done in 2027, it's being done in March 2023, two years after the government announced hope and promise for the Namibian people. So of course our young people are allowed to challenge us to say, what are we doing to develop jobs and to create jobs today? This is but the first of those efforts. Executive Director of the Southern African Science Service Center for Climate Change and Adaptive Land Management says stakeholders are committed to transform the barren area into a place of tranquility, sustainability and community development. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Daures Constituency.